My name is Ellen Miles. I'm the Programming and Outreach Coordinator at the Canvas Public Library, and we are at the Two Rivers Heritage Museum. I'm here today with Brad London, volunteer, and Madeline Mesplay, lead researcher volunteer, both with the museum. And I am so excited to be able to come today. Thank you for having me. Let's go up this way. We'll take the tour. Along the hallway here, we have um, a lot of old historic photos we love to share with people. What we really focus on here at the museum is the history of Camas Washougal, East Clark County, and Western Skamania County. A display of musical instruments. Um, I love when kids come through the museum. I love to point out some of the old phonographs, radio, some of the things that they have never seen before. And I'll ask them, what do you think that is? And of course, they have little or no idea, including vinyl records. You know, everything now is digitized, and the kids just don't realize that, you know, things have changed that dramatically in a relatively short period of time. Beautiful example of a wood stove. That's where the meals were prepared. A display of old tools. I might mention that almost everything that you're seeing so far has been donated to us by people from the area. So these are things that were in existence and in use in this particular area. We have a display here of some of the items that were used in the early timber industry from the whip saws, misery saws they used to call them. We have great pictures here of a couple of guys standing on springboards. This is a springboard. They would notch it in the tree. They would stand on there and then they'd begin their cutting process of cutting the tree down. We've got wonderful photos of some of the trees. Look at the size of that tree with those two guys. Amazing. Another very important part of the economy in this particular area was the prune industry in the early 1900s before refrigeration prunes grew beautifully in the climate here so a lot of the uh, farms had prune orchards prune hill and camas is very uh, famous as a result of all the prune orchards that were up there when refrigeration came around the industry unfortunately collapsed and an interesting fact clark county was one of the largest producers of prunes in the united states for about a 20 or 30 year period once the prune industry collapsed, a lot of the farms converted to dairies. And at one point in time, we had over 200 dairies in Clark County. Now, today, we basically have about two. We've got a beautiful display of Native American baskets. It's more than just being decorative and beautiful. A lot of them carry berries and roots, and some were actually so tightly woven that they carried water. We have a portable loom. This room really has a lot of really interesting old historic photos. People love to come in here and take a look at what things look like. Okay, now we're gonna head outside and we're gonna get out to a couple of buildings that we have out there that we wanna show you. The carriage house was built um, by the museum about seven or eight years ago, I think now, and it was uh, built as a result of us needing additional space with all the things that were coming in and some of the larger items that needed to be displayed. This is our latest, if you will, greatest new addition, the Native American Plank House.
our research area. Um, it's in the first kind of basement area of the museum. And we have family records and cemetery records and many things about land and um, residents in the area. for you for our interview and the first one is I, I just was hoping you could tell me about how the museum got started. About 1978 the Historical Society was formed um, with the real idea of saving uh, and preserving the history um, and the heritage of the Camas and Washougal areas and one of the first sites for the museum itself was in the basement of the Camas Library. Um, with the, as um, the amount of donations and people started hearing about the museum and what we were trying to get accomplished, people were bringing in items saying, here's something you might be interested in. And as the museum and the inventory of items grew, the need for additional space was created. Um, and in about 19, I think it was about 1996, if I'm not mistaken, this building, which was a home, a house in Washougal was purchased. Um, and then as a consequence of, again, more and more items and the need for more and more space, an addition was added to the building and then the two other buildings, outside buildings, um, as we've toured, have come along after that, the carriage house and then the plank house. All right, last question for today. How long have you been volunteering at the museum and what's the best part of your job? I've been volunteering here for probably about 11 years now. Um, I love history, so I'm learning something all the time. Uh, I love giving tours to explain and talk to people about what was going on uh, in years past here in this particular area, because to me it's fascinating. It's really interesting and I learn something new every day. That's my story Great. and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? How long have you been here and what's your favorite part of the job? I am completing my third year. It's, it's all the best job. <laughs>you guys that was so fun i loved being able to get out to the two rivers heritage museum and and i wish this video was an hour long because we just didn't have enough time to go over all of the displays and materials and resources they have there please go visit them it is amazing and if you enjoy museums in general i would take a look at this book that we have here in the library called museums of the northwest and the two rivers heritage museum is in this book it's by harriet vasquez and it lists just every possible museum in our whole regional area. It's really great. And if you love museums and their exhibits, take a look at this book, The Smithsonian's History of America in 101 Objects by Richard Curran. And the Smithsonian, which might be one of the most famous museums in America, has an amazing collection. So please take a look at that book as well. Well, it was great having you guys along on another library road trip, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.